I am Rohit Nawraja, the winner of Donno's Memorial Prize for the year 2020. The Don Host Award. You are the most outstanding royalist for the year 2020. You are now the face of Royal College, as we say it. It's a privilege. So from going to placing 7th and 8th in the primary, to breaking national records for Royal College, your athletics career at school has been absolutely stunning. No other word. And you ended up as the sports vice captain, uh, the athletics vice captain as well. So, uh, to be a complete royalist, as I say, to be a complete royalist, he has to excel in all the avenues. And clubs and societies or co curricular activities is a part of our structure. In a school where there are 49 clubs and societies operating at the moment, it's a very diverse uh, structure. How did that structure help you become this complete royalist and help you in the school career apart from your sports? The Don Host Memorial Prize. The prize for the most outstanding royalist. You are now the face of Royal College. Rohit, what motivated you to apply for this prize? Because it's not a voluntary uh, pick. You had to go through a process. You had to go through an interview process and then a vote. So it's a bit of a tedious task. But you took the decision to apply and to go through the process. What motivated you? And how do you know, how did you know that you were the most eligible person for this prize? This, uh, this prize was uh, published uh, when the corona first phase was finished. Uh, so at that time, uh, first of all, my, one of my mentors in my school career, it's Mr. Ashwin Bharatna Raja. He called me and he, he motivated me to apply this prize and my parents and my friends motivated me to apply for this. And also, uh, when moving along with the teachers, uh, like and my teacher in charges, uh, they preferred uh, they preferred like they wanted to see my applications and everything along with that uh, when I realized Mr. Ranjan Madugalla and so many other uh, big personalities have won this most uh, prestigious award I also badly wanted to uh, go into that process and uh, just to prove myself like to what extent I can go in and also like uh, once my application was uh, handed over uh, Another few uh, my uh, relatives and were, they also talked to me and they motivated me to go through. Also, uh, every day when I walk through the book gates, I have a, a feeling like that I have to keep a legacy back when I'm leaving school. Again, uh, my class in A levels used to be opposite of the main hall. When I look at the main hall, the Don Knows Memorial Prize winners board. It is always, in, uh, it has been an inspiration and that's where especially I applied for the Donos Memorial Prize. Rohit, I strongly believe that there comes a moment in every royalist's school career where he realizes that he has entered the real Royal College, usually around the upper middle, maybe grade 10, grade 11. Did you have such a moment? Yeah, exactly. It was uh, when I was in grade 6, uh, like from when I came to middle school from my primary school. Uh, at that moment, like it was uh, the, when I entered grade six, the first thing that held at school was the house committee meetings. That's a annual uh, meeting. Uh, that's where the first house captain of mine in middle school, Mr. Danuja Gunasekara, he talked to me. Uh, and also after winning one gold medal and uh, two bronze medals in the sports meet of year 2012, I got into Royal College Athletics team. My father used to be my first mentor in athletics, uh, where he, he used to give certain tips uh, to catch up with the Royal College team and also to excel outside the school. So there was a three months uh, training process where uh, our master in charge, teacher in charge and also our coaches were especially focused on winning the overall championship of uh, the junior Tarbert. Uh, so like we used to have uh, trainings on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays after school from 2 to 4. So we really had a, a working hard period where 
I used to gain so many new experiences talking to new athletes apart from my classmates and uh, from moving along with that uh, I tried to uh, excel as a normal standard athlete and I got into my Royal College Athletics under 12 relay team. So in the junior uh, John Robert uh, Athletics meet I somehow performed as a normal standard athlete and also I was selected to represent my Royal College Athletics under 12 relay team. Uh, we got a second place which is a silver medal and also from moving along with that we had the relay carnival meet uh, which uh, we were the we were awarded as the champions of under 12 and also I end uh, somehow I when I'm leaving school I somehow managed to uh, surpass all the challenges and uh, while leaving school I'm the Athletics uh, Vice Captain of Royal College for the year 2020. I remember Rohit a specific race of yours, one that broke records. It was at the Diagama Stadium all the way back in 2012. I remember I was in your class as well. Um, I came to watch and I saw what happened. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but what I saw happening was we were, you were running in the 4 into 100 meter relay race and you were the fourth lapper. The first, second and third runners were lagging behind. It was a situation which was dire for Royal College. We weren't going to win this. But somehow at the end of the day, you managed to lap first. What do you remember about that race? Uh, to be honest, that was one of my unforgettable race in my life because that is where I won my first gold medal all island for my school. So at the first round we were we recorded a record, uh, island record timing and also we won the first round and we became the list first. But in upcoming second rounds and third rounds, we had a huge competition along with uh, its uh, uh, Maristela College Nigambo. Uh, they, the, they were the defending champions of that title. Uh, so uh, like when the race started, there was a small collapse between the first lap and uh, second lap and there was a small delay due to the baton change of that and while I was seeing that seeing the race from the fourth level view like I was I was a bit tense like uh, what is happening because I was a fresher athlete running the fourth lapper usually a more experienced athlete will be doing the fourth lapper but since my uh, performance was good I was promoted to the fourth lapper and like like uh, the race going along with the collapse I can see my teammates cheering me and they they were like so overwhelmed and they were telling me I, I you have to finish the race first but whatever happens the, on the first just forget it and just go through the pass the line as a first player so at that time I can see the whole race as slow motion where I am realizing like yeah the race has to move on I have to do something I have to do a miracle basically so somehow we managed uh, the third lap I managed to make it a bit quick and I got the baton as third, uh, third position. So I, what I had to do is I had to finish this race first or else second because we had a title of, we are the runners up of relays in our age group. So somehow I managed to make it as a first and see, again we recorded a, a national recording timing and the whole team, oh, the whole school was, uh, we appreciated our record. So from going to placing 7th then 8th in the primary to breaking national records for Royal College, your athletics career at school has been absolutely stunning, no other word. And you ended up as the sports vice captain, uh, the athletics vice captain as well. So uh, to be a complete royalist, there's a saying, to be a complete royalist, he has to excel in all the avenues. And clubs and societies or co-curricular activities is a part of our structure. In a school where there are 49 clubs and societies operating at the moment, it's a very diverse uh, structure. How did that structure help you become this complete royalist and help you in the school career apart from your sports? So. I had a sports injury, it was my hamstring injury that I got, uh, I, the first injury I got 
in the year 2014 and the same injury got a bit worse like when I'm moving towards two years so in the year 2017 uh, I got to move the I got an interest of working towards the Tamil Dramatic Society the chairman at that time was Miss uh, Afzan Ali so like he used to come to our classes and uh, move, uh, he used to create that type of uh, going towards Tamil Dramatic Society so that's where I got an interest of working towards a club uh, so after going into that club I realized not only sports and not only academics there is another avenue another field that I can improve my management skills and my communication uh, skills especially so uh, to uh, working along with three years of uh, three years with the Tamil Dramatic Society and also I got into the uh, Glo uh, globe family of Royal College uh, which especially focuses on uh, developing the sustainable development goals so uh, with the organizing committee period and also the junior organizing committee period uh, 2019 I was appointed as the secretary of Tamil Dramatic Society and also the secretary of uh, Globe family of Royal College especially, uh, especially in my top board year I used to get so many experience while uh, having so many management uh, decision making uh, opportunities and also to move along with uh, certain sponsors and outsiders above the school. Academics, another important, very important avenue when you are studying here at Royal College. You got nine years at your ordinary level uh, or O-level examination. What was the training like? Was it like your athletics? Was it something different? Did you use the same mentality there? Or was it something completely different? Uh, your, your, the process you followed and the work you did to end up as a nine-year student? So as a student, like we all used to have that pressure from parents and teachers to excel well in studies. So from primary, I used to have, uh, my parents used to set certain goals uh, where in every term exams I used to I, I have to achieve a certain uh, limit of marks and above that so afterwards moving into sports like it used to be a bit a bit of hard uh, activity to do because I have to do my practices and also I have to do my school activities and also extra uh, cla tuition classes and everything and I have to study I have to allocate a certain time to study alone also so my mother used to arrange classes for me and extra classes and she used to get me pay, uh, past papers and everything uh, I also had a feeling and I also used to get certain advices from my cousins where they used to say, say me if you are okay with your academics if you are able to get good marks they'll let you to participate in sports and everything for as you wish so I had I set my own goal I decided to I decided my goal is to somehow get nine A's when I'm in O levels. That was the goal I set was in when I was in 2013, when I was in grade seven. So that was my uh, that was my childhood goal where from every term exams I used to target certain seventy five uh, level A mark and I used to uh, certain times uh, to be honest maths subject was one of my most difficult subject uh, like I used to, I, every term I used to get uh, below 65, so I had a special training for that, uh, certain, even Mr. Sundarlingam sir, who is serving our school, he used to take special classes and this thing, so somehow I managed to uh, surpass that barrier and to achieve 9 years. Rohit, I understand that you were a steward and stewardship is a position that is both extremely rewarding and extremely challenging. So. How do you think that stewardship groomed you to the royalist that you are right now? So while I was applying stewardship, uh, I used to get uh, many advices from my two year senior batch. Uh, that was uh, Mr. Madar Talduas Council, uh, especially our steward in charge, uh, Lahin Artigal and Hasaru Veera Singh. Uh, they, once I got into stewardship, uh, from the first meeting to the last meeting, I had a, a in my school career, I used to say that was one of my unforgettable years where the captainships, uh, the 
club activities and also uh, stewardship played a major role in my achieving this Donos Memorial Prize. Uh, as a steward, uh, main, the first duty, the main duties uh, to take care of the boys tent in the big match. So big match has a history of 140 years. So that's the, that's the main, main event of Royal College. And that's where as a steward, as a student leader, I can, uh, I can give my 100% to school to control the whole tent and to cheer for our boys who are playing for the three days. So there I had a huge experience where I, I can work along with the stewards, the 95 people that were my colleagues. And so that's where I had a unforgettable year and also so many uh, memories that I made in school. And especially I want to thank the Royal College Prefects Council of 1819, where they used to be so close with, uh, close with us and used to give so many advices. And they used to guide like what to do in school. And even uh, today, if I'm serving my school as a senior prefect, I used to follow the special guidelines given by them. Before I get to the end of this interview, now you just mentioned that you are a senior prefect. We were appointed uh, in December last year due to this pandemic. It was a bit late, but we did get appointed. And the, the duties have started. You're walking through the, through the board gates. And this time, you're not going to a class. You're going straight to the quadrangle, to the prefect's room. What does that feel like for you? So every school in Sri Lanka doesn't get, uh, get that opportunity to serve as a senior prefect after finishing the A-levels here. But we as a royalist are so much fortunate to serve uh, our school, our alma mater, after finishing our A-levels. So when I, got in, uh, when I was selected and appointed as a prefect and working along with, uh, for like two weeks, uh, I'm sure I'll have, have a whole new experience where I have to work along with the Royal College Union and also the administration for the betterment of college. Rohit, from the outside looking in, it might seem as though success came overnight. But it's easy to understand after looking at you and after talking to you that it hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows, right? You've had to work really, really hard to get where you are. And along with hard work comes massive challenges. What are the types of challenges that you faced and how did you overcome them? So the first challenge that I faced when I got into Royal College Athletics team was uh, the language problem. So uh, till there I haven't speak, uh, I haven't have any other uh, friends apart from my class. Uh, my class. So there were certain uh, athletes who can talk Tamil. They took special care of me like uh, when there are certain messages that I can't understand. Also, the teachers and co-colleagues were supporting me. Uh, even when I, I was, when I was from a di different ethnic background, our school, our school environment, and my fellow colleagues and my fellow athletes, they didn't show a, uh, anything, any, uh, any influencing uh, behavior or manner towards that. Uh, that's what the Royal College specially stands for. Uh, so that is that is a moment like where even my junior athletes from different background could uh, scroll into the athletics team and excel well. And uh, one of the next challenge was in my athletics career, I used to get certain injuries and uh, uh, certain injuries and uh, challenges so that I can't continue my athletics uh, meets and practices for certain months that used to be like the most uh, difficult period where like I can see my fellow athletes practice but I can't I have to go through the recovery period <coughs> and after the recovery period also I have to uh, give a strong comeback to the Royal College team and also in the nationals to excel well and next uh, working as the uh, working as in the top board of uh, in Tamil Dramatic Society and also in the Globe family. Uh, one thing was like uh, the main decision making ability. So uh, Krishan Sivadasa, my chairman, he was hospitalized uh, due to dengue just one week, uh, uh, one week back the main day of Tamil Dramatic Society. So that's where <coughs> I was appointed as the uh, project chairman for a temporary period and I had to make whatever the decision spontaneously and to deal with all the 
sponsors and also this thing that used to be so much hectic during that week because I have, in the morning I have to get up, I have to attend school and thereafter I have to go through sponsors and uh, have to attend sponsors meeting and everything and after that the printers work and also I have to prepare for my senior event uh, for the Tamil drama day. So that was also a challenge and that is where I learned how to make spontaneous decisions and how to uh, implement it and make it successful. So challenges have been there to, from the start to the end of my career. So I also worked in the crew of FM Royal in the year 2018 and 2019. So uh, from uh, grade 6 to grade 12 I used to have a certain weaknesses in my communication skills and also in my speaking skills. So that is why I voluntarily uh, went as a crew member in FM Royal and I did the show called Hollywood Express. In the year 2018 we did it uh, from uh, evening 12 o'clock to the early morning 6 o'clock and also in the 2019 as the evening program which is from 4 to 5 o'clock and there also I used to uh, face certain challenges to set up the whole team and the exact timeline and to work along with them and also to send them properly uh, the juniors and the, uh, my fellow colleagues to the home and to get the setup done so that and also the senior committee of the battle of the blues uh, are big match so that also gave me a experience and where I have to sell souvenirs for the uh, spectators of the big match and that that also uh, like as having a ambition of becoming an entrepreneur in my future uh, a souvenir committee uh, gave me uh, certain activities to sell souvenirs to the spectators of the big match uh, where I used to develop my sales and marketing skills uh, and overcome the challenges that I have to face uh, so the challenges have been throughout my career so it's just how I face them and I used to see them as an athlete, I used to see them as a hurdle. So the end part is my legacy leaving back. So I used to pass every each and every hurdle to finish now where I am. So as I see you, you're wearing your colors blazer. You're a Royal College colorsman as, a, as well as a Western Province colorsman. You've gotten nine years for your O-level examination. You ended up as the athletics vice captain of Royal College. You had many board positions in two big clubs at Royal College. Truly an all-rounder, as we would say. Truly an outstanding student. Rohit, last question for this interview. What is in store for the future? So with the experiences that I gained from 2007 from entering the school, uh, till now I have gained many experiences, as you said, as an all-rounder in academic sports and extracurricular and co-curricular fields so the experiences that I gained from that and the challenges that I faced so while uh, going uh, leaving the school back and entering into the corporate world I am so much confident to face the outside world since I have uh, faced so many challenges uh, that will that will increase my confidence and also uh, to excel and to also like whenever I whenever the decision whenever I make a decision or whenever I uh, include myself in an activity I always have that uh, uh, I always have that on off uh, making each and every royalist proud and also to think as a royalist and also to behave as a royalist true royalist so uh, so to that to becoming a successful all rounder. I thank uh, our principal sir, Mr. B. Abhay Ratna, our senior games master, Mr. M. M. Uh, Riyas sir, uh, and our senior uh, master in charge of clubs and societies, Mr. T. D. C. P. Amartunga sir. And also uh, I thank every our teacher in charges that I worked in the sports and also uh, in the clubs and also my class teachers and my uh, steward in charges. Uh, my the council that I worked as a steward in the year 2019 and also my fellow colleagues and uh, the Royal College Prefects Council of 2021. The main ground is a special place for everyone. Like we come here in the interval, we play a game of cricket, football, maybe some tap, right? And you've done it yourself. One important question I have to ask you. What is your message to all the younger royalists out there who are listening in? 
to fellow royalists. Being a royalist is always a great privilege and a huge responsibility. The entire society will be expecting the best from you. So stay positive and work hard. The main lesson that I've learned from my entire school career is that dedication, commitment and hard work is the main key to achieve your goals. So I would like to end this message saying labor omnia wins it, which means work conquers all things.